Okay, to do this part, I had several circles, um, <clears throat> and I've eliminated all the confusing ones. But basically, I've created this shape. Let's see if we can see more. There we go. Um, and so what I'll be able to do is take this shape and mirror it. I've been moving some of my tools around, so I'm struggling. It is this one. And it, if you leave it alone, it usually comes up right in the middle. And do you want to merge them? And I do. Let's see if we caught all of it. It's a little bit long. Okay, fair enough. So, um, I'm going to First of all, I'm going to make sure this is in the center. See, I think this is some more that, that it just really wasn't even a symmetrical example. And then we'll take this, take the width down to perhaps 200. 180. Too short. 190. Let's try 200 again. Oh, it's just not symmetrical. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're going to kind of straighten it up with this. And so it, it is in the center. And so if I just build everything off that, we'll be fine. <clears throat> now I'm going to change this to a satin. Nice. Okay. And so hopefully then we can get an inside one. Let's take it down two inch, make it a, ah, we could make the inside anything. A sculpture run might be pretty indifferent. Let's give it a shot. Minus two. I think it needs to be different though. Let's try minus three. Yeah, I've got a setting where that it's giving me the outside also. That one minus four. And let's say triple run. And okay. It didn't like that for some reason. Go with the more complex. I want um, minus four. <clears throat> Might even think about a back stitch. Um, got sharp corners. Keep original. I don't want outlines. That's what I was messing up. I just want the offset. <laughs> Okay, I like that better. And that's kind of pretty. If we elongate it, it'd be better. But these, those are all things that can be changed later, Jeremy. <clears throat> Just 
long as we have them in place.